folks, how you doing today? So it is Barber Chair Friday. We just finished these three beautiful barber chairs. Absolute full restorations, ground up. As you know, when we do restorations, we take everything absolutely apart. Every piece gets cleaned. We send the porcelain out and have it sandblasted. Then we bring it back to our paint shop and put the finest paint money can buy on them. Then once they're finished, we bring them in, we assemble them, we put the new nickel plate on them, sit them out for upholstery, and as you'll see, we are doing them in two-tone. Everything has gone through, they're absolutely beautiful. So we'll start with this EML Paydar. This is a child's barber chair, which we got in, was just, you know, a decent, nice core. Once again, knocked it down. <clears throat> then there's a nice lady back east, her name is Britta, and she is a wood carver. So she carves these beautiful wood horses for these barber chairs. This is the appropriate size. This was the, the deluxe head, which you could buy from Paydar or Koken back in the day. They also have glass eyes on them. Once again, this is all glued up and kiln dried, two inch laminated wood, hand carved, hand finished. We go through the brake system, we go through everything. We like doing it, we're really stepping up the paint these days. So what we did is we did it in a beautiful two-tone. As you can see, we did maroon, black, maroon, black, maroon, black with maroon uh, piping. This chair works very good, right? Everything works on the chair, up, down, lock nice locking system as well as I've never seen anybody do this we're the only ones that came up with this idea and we put a real horse hair tail on them and uh, they're all beautiful they're clean they're done correctly so just I, I think that this is probably the prettiest child's barber chair I've ever seen in my life we did it once again we're stepping it up everything is done it's got the step stool this particular chair is the one with the what would you call scalloping here as well as the scalloping down here. Everything is plated top to bottom, no expense spared, absolutely stunningly beautiful barber chair. I'm telling you, you can put this under glass, put a light on it and set it in the corner. It's a true museum piece. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All real leather, all hand done, all hand built, hand carved wood, glass eyes. Uh, there's just nothing more we can do to it. I put all the money we could possibly put in it it's a 10 out of a 10, and whoever gets this is really gonna be a pride and joy for them, and you watch the kids go crazy for it. What do you think, Jeff? You really wanna know what I think? Uh, what I like about barber chairs in general is if you guys are thinking about starting a, a collection, it's a great thing to start with, because not only is it functional, but it's something you can sit and look at. So if you're just starting a collection, you wanna pop something like this in your office, which says collection, or you want it in your house, or you already have a collection, these things, we've been selling them like crazy. Barbershop's is about as high as it gets right now. And between Jim and Jeff. this guy, they really do a beautiful job. If you owned a barbershop and had a plate glass window, you know, which normally they do, if you set this in your plate glass window in your barbershop, what an eye stopper. This is gonna bring you business. This is a great piece of advertising as well as a great functional barber chair. Anyway, thank you so much. Somebody's gonna get real lucky with this one. Have a nice day.